Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this USB dummy load from Drock. This isn't the first item that I've reviewed from that company. I also reviewed their USB lighter, but this is probably one of the most exciting items I've actually had in recent times. It doesn't do too much, but what it does do, it does very, very well. Now, if you don't know what a USB dummy load is for, basically, let's say I have this power bank and I want to test how much power I can draw out of one of these USB ports. If I was just to connect my cell phone, all I would get is one amp maybe two amps depending on the cell phone but with this dummy load I can adjust it to get exactly how much I want all the way up to around 3.5 to 4 amp they say on the specifications up to 4 amp but in my testing I was only able to get around 3, 3.5 three but that's still more than enough because most USB ports can't go above 3 amps and most of them actually say maximum of 2.4 but I found you can go a little bit higher Aside from testing the maximum output of a USB port, the more practical use is to actually pair it up with a USB watt meter and measure how much power you get out of a power bank over a long period of time. So I would set this constant current load to one amp to simulate charging a cell phone, run it through my watt meter onto the power bank and see how much power we draw out. It could be three hours, five hours, 10 hours. It depends on the size of the power bank, but we'll know the true capacity of the power bank. So if it says it's 10, 10,000 or 9,000, we'll be able to verify if that's true. And that's how I've managed to verify that power banks like this from Voxlink are genuine, while some other power banks I've reviewed are absolute nonsense. They say 30,000 milliamp hour, but really it's just 6,000. Now I do have another USB dummy load, which I've shown before. This one, this one's a lot simpler. You can see we've just got two large resistors, a switch that turns it between running one resistor or two resistors, and that's about it basically. It's an okay dummy load, but it gets incredibly, incredibly hot when it's running. If you were to touch this, it would just take the skin off your finger immediately. So it's okay, but it gets very, very hot and it's not adjustable. And the maximum it can draw is around 1.8 amp. Whereas with this one, we're using a transistor as a load. And with this one, even if I put it on its top load settings, I can still touch this and it's warm, but it doesn't burn because we've got this heat sink here and we've got this fan which turns on automatically when the temperature of the transistor gets to 55 degrees Celsius or higher. Another noticeable difference between these two is that this one is made primarily just for USB 5 volts, whereas this one can go anywhere from 3 volts to 21 volts. So you can actually use it for a wider range of things. It doesn't have to be just USB. You can see we've got some input ports here. So I can connect this to say a 12 volt source and then run the load just like that. So it doesn't have to be USB. So that's enough talking about this. Let's actually plug it in so I can show you it in action. I'm gonna use my power bank from RAV Power because I know this USB port can actually output quite a high amount of power. Now the first thing you'll notice about this dummy load is it's got a reversible USB connector. It can actually go in either way. So I can put it in like this or I can turn it around and put it in like this. Now that's very useful if the USB port is in an awkward position, but otherwise it's probably not gonna be that big a deal for you. Now when I first received this, I plugged it into a power bank and then I was like, uh, is it doing anything? Because of course it's just a dummy load, so you don't really know, and the fan only comes on once it gets up to a certain temperature. So what you really need is a watt meter like this. If I plug this in between the power bank and the dummy load, you'll then be able to see exactly how much power we're drawing. So with both of the knobs on the lowest settings, you can see we're drawing just 0.0052 amp. And this one is for big adjustments and this one is for fine adjustments. So if I turn this one very slowly, you'll see that the current starts to increase, but by a very small amount. So you can see, even now that uh, it's maximum setting, it's only 0.14 amp. So that's for fine adjustments, while the one on the left is for big adjustments. So let's turn this up. You can see we're now at 1.2 amp. I keep going, we're at 2 amp, 2.2, keep going, around 3 amp when you've got this one turned all the way up and this one all the way down. Now some USB packs can't actually handle that much power, not just power banks but also wall chargers like this one. And you can probably hear and see that the fan has now come on because the load is starting to warm up. If I turn this knob all the way up, You'll see we're now at its maximum load, which is around 3.1 amp. Now I thought I'd seen it go a little bit higher than this, but you can see I've got both of the knobs on their top settings and we're drawing around 3.14 amp. Now, like I said, many USB ports can't even handle that much power, but the RAV power can do it. Now let me turn this back down for a second so I can show you something that you may have noticed yourself. 
Okay, the fan is now gone into turbo mode. But let me show you something. I'm going to touch this transistor and look. I'm holding my finger there. It's not burning me. It's warm, but I can hold my finger there and it's not uncomfortable. So this heat sink and fan really does do a good job. Whereas if I was to do that with this one, I would have just lost all my skin on my fingers. Okay, so let me set it to one amp, roughly. There you go, 1.3 amp. Now, when I was showing you this earlier, you might have noticed this USB port here. Well, if you find that 3 amp or 3.2 amp isn't high enough, you can actually add another load on top of it. So let's set this to one amp and plug this in. So just let me show you, 1.3 amp, let's plug this in. We're now at around two amp. So if you find that this dummy load isn't enough, you could plug in another one here and then draw even more power. But unfortunately the RAV power or pretty much any USB power supply won't be able to output so much power. So let's try and go up until it turns off. 2.5 amp, 3 amp. Bear in mind that this is only meant to be a 2.4 amp socket. Uh, 3 amp, 3.3. Now I'm going to go on fine adjustments. Okay, keep going, keep going. 3.4 amp. 3.5 amp. I think this one turns off at around 3.6. There you go. So the power bank actually turned off at 3.6 amp to protect itself because it's not designed to output that much power. But if you do have some kind of power supply that can output a higher load, then by all means you can add a second load to this one. Now I mentioned earlier this isn't just for USB. Right now I've got a 12 volt power supply going into this. So I've got AC going into here. 12 volts coming out going into my dummy load and it's plugged in here you can see 12 volts now I've got the wires the wrong way around so it's actually showing a minus load but that doesn't really make any difference so let's start turning up the load you can see we're now at 1 amp 12 watts 2 amp 25 watts 3 amp 35 watts and if we go the whole way 3.1 amp, 37 watts. Now the only thing that I would say is that you have to be cautious because at this higher voltage um, you're obviously drawing a lot more power because while the load remains the same, the constant current load, the voltage is higher so we're drawing more power. So this thing will get hotter much quicker which is why the fan came on so quickly. Now for me, I would probably be using this as a USB dummy load most of the time, but I wanted to show you that you can use it on other power supplies and other voltages if you want to. So I think I've covered pretty much everything there is to know with this. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.